1945, an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. On August 9, another was dropped on Nagasaki. Why did we have to meet such a disaster regardless of our choice? At that time, my father was a junior high school pupil. In the school, they were having their morning assembly on the ground. Help! Everybody was desperately screaming for help. Give me water! Victim forgot one all over the body put themselves into dream camp in which water was kept for firefighting and died there. They must have known that one must not drink water when burnt. There was a keen flash, and then I was thrown down on the earth and painted. When I came back to myself, I was near the bank of the Motoyas River which was crowded with people burned black. People jumped into the water one after another, only to be drifted down. The sight was just like a hell. Three days after the bombing, my father went to Hiroshima to help and protect victims. A street car was burned black with its roof brown on. Inside it was a corpus of a woman, burned black, bones appearing in some places, the intestines emerging from the abdomen, giving solid red, the other things all being grey. Wounded people were carried to hospital and school building. Any hospital was so crowded that it was impossible to move an inch. Wounded people were also sent to hear Yoshida choice. When a truck arrived, the pupils of Yoshida Agricultural School carried the wounded on the stretchers, which they usually used to carry compost. My mother sent a pupil of Yoshida Girls School helped to nurse the wounded person carried to the school. Four or five of the victims carried in a truck had already died when they arrived. A child on his mother's side is moving around fun with his whole heart. Is he calling his mother or driving away five? Father on side is only looking silent without being able to tell him that his mother had been dead. The presumed number of the victims killed by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 200,000. The missing people, 14,000. The surviving atomic bomb victims, 174,995.